a video on some uh, whey that I've got from the yogurt that I made the other day. Ah, I thicken it up, you uh, pour the yogurt in, into a cloth, some of the whey comes out and it thickens up the yogurt. So I've got some whey. Uh, I normally throw it away, um, but I was talking with my yoga teacher and she was saying that whey powder goes into everything. They kind of use it as a bulking agent and it's really bad for you. And I was kind of curious uh, because I know about whey uh, protein powders um, because people use it for fitness, uh, for building muscle and all that kind of stuff. So I was just kind of curious: could we actually make? Can we actually make some whey powder? Uh, so we've got the whey. What I'm going to do is I'm at work, the hot cupboard's on, so I'm going to pour the whey into a a enamel container so it's not um, it's quite acidic. It's whey, so it's not going to eat into the enamel or um, I use stainless steel. Uh, but wouldn't use aluminium because uh, it'll, it'll eat into the aluminium with the acid or alkaline, whichever it is. Um, so I'm going to pour it into that and then we're going to slowly evaporate it in that in the hot cupboard. I'd do it in the pan but we'd end up with a residual uh, coming down the sides of the pan whereas I just kind of think of a large surface area like that um, to evaporate the whey slowly uh, is a more uh, gentle approach. Uh, so we'll just kind of see. So that's going to go in there and that's going to go in the hot cupboard and it'll be in there uh, for, for, ever, ever, for ever, how long it takes. As you can see, the whey has reduced and it started to go cloudy as well. So originally it was clear, and now it's starting to go cloudy. So it's a little bit thick, a little bit gelatinous. But so you can, you can see it's kind of doing that. It's quite acidic. Uh, but I'll keep, um, I'll keep evaporating it and we'll see what happens. So, this is the way. And so it was sticky when I pulled it out of the hot cupboard um, last night. It was like that kind of sticky. Can you hear it? It was syrupy and it was sticky. And then I brought it home and I've left it out and it's crystallised. So, if you can hear this, and it's crystallized, so it's kind of turned into a into a powder. So it's done that. So <laughs> kind of I feel like I've, I've made cocaine or something like that. The other way, it's crystallized like that. Uh, so. That's kind of quite interesting. Um, it's going to be just like concentrated whey, but I was just thinking that it was just going to go like a syrup, um, but it's actually crystallized, which is kind of quite interesting. So I think I'm going to leave it for a couple of days, and then we'll kind of see what happens. Um, I'll need to leave it uncovered, uh, so like the crystallization kind of process kind of carries on. But that's kind of quite interesting. Um, as I was reducing it down. I remembered that uh, having a conversation uh, with my friend who's a cheesemonger um, about um, there is a um, Norwegian or Swedish cheese uh, where what they do is it uh, well it's Scandinavian it's a Scandinavian cheese um, I can't remember which Scandinavian country but it's one of the Scandinavian countries and what they do is they've got excess amounts of whey so what they do is they reduce the whey down and then they add uh, cream to it and turn it into a bit of a, like a fake cheese but it's uh, but by adding cream to it to the whey you kind of think along the lines of a uh, savoury uh, toffee that that type of thing I've never tasted it it doesn't kind of appeal to me but through through that kind of what we've done and you can kind of see that there is like a, a bit of a butter bit of a butter colour to it so kind of quite interesting but we'll kind of see what happens over the next couple of days. I'll just kind of leave it out and see what happens. But I will taste it. it will, I don't think it'd be very nice, but I'm curious. Yeah, so it's it's sharp and it's grainy, and there's a little bit of a little bit of creaminess to it. You know, if it had some sugar in it, it'd probably very nice. I 
it's a little bit buttery. It tastes like, like say like a fudge uh, that's going a little bit crystallized. It tastes, it's like a savory version of that. So by adding some cream to it or some sugar, we probably kind of get to that, uh, that we probably get there to make that type of thing. But anyway, kind of quite interesting. Uh, it's not, it's not whey powder yet, but it might be in a couple of days. The whey has crystallized and dried out a bit further. So, it's gone crunchy. So, I don't know, we have kind of made a solid whey powder. Um, so, will it crunch up? Hmm. I'll pause, I need a pop of pestle and mortar. Here we go, we've got this. So, let's see what happens. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. I don't know what whey powder tastes like. I always kind of just imagined that it tasted a little bit like um, powdered milk. But it's made from whey. And whey comes from milky products. I'm not sure what I can do with this at all, if I'm honest. I don't know how, if it has any implications of what I could use it for. Use it as an ingredient, I don't know. I was just kind of curious. It had a little bit of a fermented kind of I should have probably could have got it in the spice grinder. But to be honest, lots of the things I do and most of me just faffing around and stuff. So how does that turn out like? Just tastes a bit acidic. A little bit caramelised. I just add it in there. It's just coloured slightly because of the um, because of the temperature. I don't know. I don't know what I could use it for. But I was just curious. So I'll have a think. I don't know about. I kind of think you'd just be adding adding something. I can't think of any uses for it. So it might just live in that container until I have a think about things. But you can turn whey into um, powder just by uh, through evaporating it and then a crystallisation process. So, but it's not anything amazing. Probably needs a bit of sugar in it. I don't know what you could use it for. It's kind of looks it's a bit like cinder toffee. Like um like a honey honeycomb type of um texture to it. Hmm. Anyway. I made whey powder.